We're seeing child care jump recently. It's up roughly 6% in July compared to a year ago, and that's outpacing the cost of inflation, or rather the rise of inflation. And now with federal funding set to close, this is a story I'm taking a closer look at. It's been on the Yahoo Finance page this mm-hmm. Friday. And now with federal funding, it's set to expire in September. Staff shortages also impacting school, daycare, preschool um, as well. And so really, these companies like Bright Horizons weighing in on the impact Impact that the end of this federal funding could have and something else, you know, really costly that's hitting Americans right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. I mean, listen, I, like Akiko, I'm a mom too. So mm-hmm. it, even if you have a child who is in school, you still have to factor in the hours that they're out of school for child care costs. And, you know, for a good child care provider, of course, you're going to pay up, but you do feel that pinch. And each year the costs rise, uh, whether you're talking about a sitter, which I love mine. So, you know, <laughs> well, of shout course, out to the yes. so you're doing shout great. Out to <laughs> She's amazing. <laughs> um, and her sister, who's also a sit- sitter sometimes. Uh, but yes, but it's, you know, it's a cost that you just have. It's a have to. It's a mm-hmm. need. It's not a something that you can kind of just forego. And we've talked about this yeah, well, before. The, the, gra- just- the graph that we showed at the beginning is what really stands out to me when you compare it to the rest of inflation, because I think that's where we are mm-hmm. in the inflation story now. I know Hamza Shaban, who wrote this story that's up on our website right now, this is something that's important to him and something he was experiencing. I started talking talking to him about it before he started reporting on the story. He's like, you know, this is pretty crazy how much I'm paying for childcare right now. Wow. And I think that's where we are, Akiko, right now in the inflation story is yes, inflation is coming down. Everything seems to be coming down a little bit, but it's the little pockets that matter to people. And every little pocket is going to matter to someone differently and matter to them more. But I think that's where sentiment is going to be interesting to watch over the next year or so, because some prices in certain areas aren't coming down and people are feeling that pinch more than maybe other people. Yeah, I mean, no question. This is one that certainly, uh, you know, hits close to home when you think about just how much it costs for child care if you can get it. I mean, that's sort of the starting point. We've heard of, you know, the long waiting list to get into a place like Bright Horizons as well. But uh, what's interesting about the story particularly is we're talking about one of the very last pandemic era funding programs that are still in place, $24 billion roughly for childcare that helped pay for wages, that helped uh, some of these childcare facilities higher up. And you have to wonder what happens when that funding dries up. Uh, Brooke, you mentioned uh, Bright Horizons. They mentioned it recently on their earnings call saying they're gonna take a hit from it as well. But you know, childcare workers, yeah. They don't get paid a lot. No. So the spread there is unbelievable. The average hourly earnings, when you look at it, it's $33 for an all private sector workers. And then you go down to childcare workers and it goes down to $20. I mean, that's just a massive spread. And until you close that gap, I don't see how you fix the problem of getting more people to work in childcare. That's just a flat out massive gap. Right, how do you recruit talent in this sort of environment where they know that they could find other jobs elsewhere? And, and also too, when you think about these sort of companies that are really facing this issue, it's sort of a, it's a, you know, they have no control over it. I feel like they have no control over how much they're able to pay their employees. The only answer is them raising the cost for parents. So then it's a circle. We're going yep. in a cycle here. It's an ongoing issue yeah. that is getting out of hand now. And just one last number to leave you with, $17,171 a year. That is the the average cost for commercial daycare in big cities. So, I mean, that just tells you how much you have to pay up to get that child care if you can get it.